Eloise has continued to strengthen today and is currently located at 13.7 degrees south, 56.6 degrees east as of 7 p.m. Eastern Africa time this January the 18th. Eloise currently has winds of 65 miles per hour by our estimates, or 105 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 987 millibars, moving west at 17 miles per hour, or 27 kilometers per hour, and has a CDPS stage rating of 3. Here's a breakdown of that stage 3 rating, or Ambo Hitro Lamanana. Wind speed and storm size are both moderate, rainfall potential is major, and the overall threat to land remains at moderate. A stage 3 means that considerable damage is possible with a storm next landfall. Here are the current wind fields for Eloise, 70 nautical miles to the southeast, 75 nautical miles to the northeast, 60 nautical miles to the southwest, and 65 nautical miles to the northwest. Again, a stage 3 means that considerable damage is possible where the storm makes landfall. And here are the distances, 569 miles from Toa Messina, 472 miles from Ann Papa, 433 miles from San Baba, 426 miles from Ambala Bay, and 425 miles from Ambala Lanana. And for watches and warnings, we have a yellow alert in effect for Ant Alandrofo, Ant Apa, San Baba, Ant Alaha, Toa Messina, Via Lananana, Bi Fan Rihanna Havar Tra, Mand Reet Sara Hari, and Ila Mena. We also have a green alert in effect for Roque Mar, Brickerville, Vato Mandri, Ma Anaro, Mora Manga, Ambat on Trusaka, and Ampara. Barabola. Here are the current intensity estimates. Again, force 13 our estimate for this video is 65 miles per hour. ASM, AMSU is currently sitting at 70 miles per hour. The JGWC and SATCON are currently sitting at 50 miles per hour. And ADT is all the way down there at 40 miles per hour. Here's the current JGWC cone showing an initial estimate of 45 knots or 50 miles per hour, showing a landfall of 60 knots on the 19th, around 18Z, uh, that is around 70 miles per hour, and you can see it yeah, towards the end of that cone on the 23rd, it could threaten Mozambique as a tropical storm as it moves out to sea. Here's the current rainfall swath from the HWRF model. You can see widespread 4 to 8 and 8 to 16 inches of rain, and even for some of the higher elevations of Madagascar, 16 to 24 inches of rain are possible. Here's the current sea surface temperatures for Eloise, as you see towards landfall in Madagascar, generally 29 to 30 Celsius, but as you see after Madagascar, very warm sea surface temperatures ahead, 30 to 31, potentially 32 degrees Celsius waters, and as wind shear lowers, this storm could get its act together and strengthen further. Here's the multi-mile diagnostic comparison, as you see, uh, some models do actually predict some strengthening before uh, landfall in Madagascar, which is certainly possible, uh, but most strengthening takes place after Madagascar. As you can see, the GFS really ramps it up to a Category 2 on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. Wind shear, as you see, it's going to start rising now but as, it, as we approach landfall, but lower as it goes out to sea west of Madagascar. So conditions are looking very favorable after Madagascar and, and residents in Mozambique should certainly prepare for a potential storm. Here's current infrared of Eloise. Good blobs of convection right now. It's looking like a very healthy system. Wind shear is still going to be an issue for it all the way up to landfall, but we still need to watch this for heavy rainfall in Madagascar and potentially a reformation after Madagascar.